What's this mother? <laughs> the music so show. He, he's put Diddy up, and, and they sacrificed him, Diddy. And they said, you got to take this because we, we can't be involved. But Diddy, smart. He filmed every session. So he was Clive and Freak Boy that run uh, Universal Music Group. So he got them on some tapes. Now, that's why they raided the house, because they got friends in Homeland Security and the feds. And they said, get, get in there and get them tapes from this. He trying to blackmail us. That's what I believe is going on. Because Homeland Security, they came in there with tanks down there. <laughs> Another <laughs> tape, 25 deep, 30 <laughs> deep for one dance. <laughs> Say what? One dance going to have 50 <laughs> troops at his Mansion. It's not Shug Knight. It's Dick. Okay. <laughs> the mute. Yeah, I missed one. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so Eddie Eddie Griffin. Um, so he's saying that Diddy's getting set up. Yeah, that he's framed. What do you do? You believe him? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I think all them jokers some freaks and they've been doing some dirty stuff and it's all coming to light. So he's like, if I'm going down, y'all going with me. Yeah. I think I do believe he was. Sm I do I do believe he was smart enough to record that so that it's not like just fall, he the fall guy. Mm -hmm. I think I do believe. You that think part. he recorded it to do what? I think he recorded people doing that stuff. So that if he did go down, then he could say, hey, take I'm, everybody with him. I'm mm -hmm. taking everybody with me, too. Yeah, he seemed like that type of guy. But do you. OK, so this is something I have heard, though. Do you think that Puffy allegedly did all these things? Do you think he was groomed himself by people like Clive Davis? Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably so. I think they were saying Andre Harrell was, uh, groomer, yeah. was the one who groomed him. They were saying. Yeah. So you think this this has been going on for years and years, not even just in our community, but we were brought into mm -hmm. probably the pedophilic yeah, yeah. in the music industry and rock and roll and stuff like in the seventies and eighties. All this stuff kind of been going on weird old type stuff behind the scenes. Yeah. And, so. I, and I and I think the reason why um, Eddie Griffin was sounding like that is because kind of like we have that 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 black people have that conspiracy theory mentality. It was like. Mm -hmm. This ain't just a black thing. This is such and such thing too. You know what I mean? And it's like, if you're a bad guy, you're just a bad guy, regardless if you black, white, Hispanic, whatever. You know what I mean? And I, and yeah. I think sometimes we do that because he represents us. And if I mean, people, if somebody's a horrible person and doing horrible things, regardless of their color, man, they got to go down. <laughs> Remember New Jack City when Nino Brown went down? He said, "If I'm going down, I'm taking all of y'all with yeah. me." He started pointing people out. Yeah. SP did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down. You going out. I got yeah. footage of you doing this. So doing the same that. thing with Jeffrey Epstein, because he has so much dirt on people. First of all, is he in danger? Second of all, are they going to even let any of this come out? Well, it depends. I, well, Jeffrey Epstein, they just they he just went down by himself. Like he kind of like didn't he go to jail? He did, yeah. but but he didn't, he didn't release like. I'm what Oprah been doing, or what this person been doing, or what this person been doing. Dang, Oprah. Well, she was cool with him. Okay. <laughs> she was cool <laughs> with him. You got news? Anyway. I mean, she was like, she was. Um, yeah, I just, I just wonder if, if it's true that, like, because you know, this has been conspiracies for years that this whole industry is filled with pedophiles and kind of satanic all kind of stuff, satanic, man. wild stuff. Mm -hmm. If it is true that all these people are involved, are they going to let him go down? And risk getting exposed. I don't know. I think he's just a chess piece. I just think they just it's a bit. It's a lot. Some larger going on. They play all the tr truth haven't came out yet. But I believe what, part of what he was saying, as far as him just being the sacrificial lamb, pretty much. Probably. And did it like now? If I'm gonna go down, I'm taking somebody else with. We all guilty, pretty much. So I think as the as they pull the curtain back, a lot more people are gonna be called out. A lot more names gonna be mentioned. It's like almost like the Black Epstein Island, pretty much. <laughs> so, do you think anybody's gonna be spared by the time by the time we're you know eighty, ninety? Are all of our childhood heroes gonna be found out to be doing something crazy? Man, when Bill Cosby went down, I say anything possible. <laughs> <laughs> he was the he was the clean comic. Yeah. He was the, he was the one that used to get on other people. Yeah, right. he was. And to a certain degree, people could argue. I don't believe he guilty of everything they said he is. I think they kind of laid it on a little bit. Um, but I believe by the time it's all said and done, they're gonna have that on everybody because you playing with the devil. The devil don't play fair. You know well, what I'm well I, I think it depends on the what whatever you think that person is doing. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. children and women right now on the front front on the, the the forefront of if they come out and say, "Yo, this happened to me," 
then you're gonna look that look bad upon, even regardless if it's quote unquote true or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. 